Um, it's well, everyone, and, and good afternoon. Uh, I'm Chris. Uh, I'm coming to you from the beautiful territory of Stalo people, and I'm here to give you a word about my research dealing with uh, decentralized and sustainable finance. Um, by decentralized finance, I refer to the trend that a, a recent trend to take out the middleman in financial transactions. Uh, 50 years ago, if you wanted to borrow money, you just went to, went to the bank to get the loan. But today, there are dozens of options, microfunding, crowd lending, uh, crowd lending, crowdfunding, cryptocurrencies, related, related items. Almost everyone can offer financial services with an appropriate platform. In terms of data and transactions, that means that we are not anymore in a world in which all transactions are centralized in a server, in a bank, but instead we are observing the fragmentation and decentralization of financial services. So my research studies this um, new financial system and to see how it can contribute to society through the lens of sustainable finance. By sustainable finance, I mean, um, how finance can contribute uh, to social impact, indigenous community and climate change in line with United Nations sustainable goal. So in my research, to conclude in my research, uh, I study how decentralized, a decentralized financial system evolve, can evolve and what, is, what are its advantages, its disadvantages and how it could really contribute to society and more specifically on matters related to social impact, indigenous community, and climate change. Thank you.